Hey guys, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. so today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox and test out and look at the specs of the 40 volt power up the power source and so i have the 18 volt uh power generator but i wanted a 40 volt because uh, summer's coming up during the summer what i want to do is i actually want to edit these videos out on the boat when i'm out and i just want to chill and relax on the water and like I said, I'm a man of all tools. It's nice to have a little kit right here that has all my necessities in it that I need for simple stuff like scissors so I don't just have scissors laying around where I have to find them. I have a little kit for last minute, last minute stuff. And good enough. Good enough. All right, unfortunately, I hope I have the specs on, on this stuff still. So here's the unit. This is a 300 watts. Uh, this does have uh, a power button, a light button. It has an uh, regular outlet, a USB, and a USB-C charger. So that's good because my laptop actually uses a USB-C cable. So I do not need to use the plug to charge my laptop. And so, yes, it has a handle. It has a handle on it so you can hold it. But this thing, uh, it's pretty light. It's not heavy at all. But once you add the battery to it, then it will be heavy. And there you go. Let's turn the light on. Let's see what the light looks like. The light is right there. Uh, the light does have a strobe feature. Then it, it turns off. All right, but there you go. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to completely edit a video. Uh, the battery is going to be about 5% on the laptop. Then we're going to see how long this takes for this to charge up. All right, so complete change of plan. Instead of me doing a time lapse of editing a video, we're going to do something that's a lot more fun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test this 40 volt power uh, source and see how long I can play video games for. Alrighty, so instead of the five amp hour, uh, because the battery has one bar missing, we're gonna use the four amp hour. The batteries, I'd say probably like 89, 95%. So we're gonna use this because it has more of a charge. And so we're gonna put this back on charge. All right, so there we go. All right, so as you can see, let me turn this on. It's starting to get nice outside. All right, so there are no other cables. The USB to the feed of the Super Nintendo is in the power source, and the cable for the TV is in the power source as well. There are no other cables going anywhere. So the power source is being used 100%. Let's see how long this lasts. So it is 2.42 p.m. Let's see how long this lasts.
there it is. It is now 4.43 p.m. So a 4 amp hour battery lasted that long. It's crazy. Actually, I waited for it to die. I played a little bit, but I actually waited for it to die out. That was seriously awesome. This lasted a lot longer than what I what I thought it would. Let's do a quick temperature reading on this. Yeah, about 101, 102 degrees this got. But this ran for a few, this land for, I do not know the exact time. This ran for a while, you know, playing, uh, I think that's a 34 inch TV and it powered this and you know, like with sound and everything. So this would probably last you a movie because when it comes to the screen and porch, I do not plan to put a power source in there because we're, we're, we're not going to be in there that much. We're, and when we are, we're not always going to be watching TV, but now I'm able to play video games or watch a movie uh, with this power uh, source. This thing is awesome. This thing really is awesome. I, I had my doubts that it would last long. I thought it would maybe 30 minutes, but it actually lasted for quite a while. But I'm seriously glad I got this. And like I said in the, in the early in the video, I use this to charge up my uh, my remote, and so uh, after like about 20 minutes, I just could I took that off, and then it, it, this was fully charged. This was just the unboxing and review of the 40 volt power inverter, on to see what its limits are. All right, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Steve Friels. Uh, go join his uh, Facebook group and his page. I believe it is called uh, Ryobi for Less. Uh, what he does is he finds deals on the web then he posts them to the the group so if you're interested on uh purchasing ryobi tools for sale there you go you know ryobi's for less so that's pretty much it please subscribe to the channel hit the bell button to be notified of future videos this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time